Hey, hello guys. This is Karthik from ExecuteAutomation.com and welcome to Selenium Tidbits. So in this Tidbits, we're going to check for a control exists in the application UI or not. So basically, we can check whether an element exists or not if it's displayed or not. That's how we can check whether the control exists or not in an application's UI. So how we can use this WebElement.IsDisplayed method more innovatively and use it to verify if the control exists or not. So we're going to write a simple method and we'll call it as exists and then we will check the is displayed method to return true or false. If it returns true, then we'll say that the control exists. If it doesn't return, then surely this is displayed method will return as an no such element exception. So we'll catch that and then we'll return false. So we'll talk about this in detail while we start coding with it. So I'm going to flip back to Eclipse. So this is the same project which we have been working with Selenium Tidbits videos of this video series. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a simple method and let's call this as exist. So it's public static. We'll call this as bool. And okay, sorry, in Java it's Boolean. And then I'm going to pass the web element element. All right, so I'm going to check for this guy, this web element exists or not. Right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the whole guy in a try catch block no such element exception okay that's great and then I'm going to return a false here it's fine so that's what is my intention if nothing is found then return me false but when should I get this exception? Well, I try to see if the element dot is displayed method fails, right? So this element dot is displayed will return me true if it finds the element. If it does not find any element, it's going to throw me an error. So what does it say? Is this element displayed or not? This method avoids the problem of having the parse the element of style attributes. That's fine. But it should have returned me false instead, but it's not doing. Rather, it's throwing me an exception. That's what this is display method does. So I'm going to just catch this guy here. Right? Even if there is some more exceptions, just try to catch that exception as well. So I'm going to catch the generic exception and then I'm going to return false here as well. Which is great. So let me return this that's the problem all right so now we can see the error is gone right and this will return me true or false based upon the elements available or not so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to check whether this link exists or not so that's my main intention to see whether I'm getting this link or not so for doing that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first create the instance for this web element of this partial link. So I'm going to create the web element lnk execute is equal to this guy. All right. And then I'm going to verify whether this link exists or not. So this will return me true if this link exists, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a system dot print on, and then I'm going to do this exists of lnk execute. So this will return me true if this control exists, right? So now if I run this test, yeah. So before that, I think. Uh, if we click this we need to somehow wait so for that I'm going to use the explicit wait method which we already wrote so this is the same method 
which we already wrote and we performed the operation and it expects me the partial link text here so remember this explicit weight is coming from the explicit weight and implicit weight tidbits of this tidbits video series so you can watch that one before proceeding this part if you want to or if you can go back and watch that video as well so it expects the partial link text so I'm gonna pass the partial link text as this execute automation right here all right so I'm gonna save this and now if I run this test you can see that the browser is open and it typed the execute automation all right and you can see it joins me the true which is great so if the link exists then it clicks it will it will show me the link exists as true so if, if the link does not exist then it will show me false since it is catched it it will throw it will catch the exception and also if there is no such element exception occurs again it will return me false so this is how you can verify whether the control exists or not in selenium that's it guys so stay tuned for more tidbits in selenium thank you very much for watching and have a great day